I think the most overlooked issue facing public transportation is technology and especially autonomous vehicles. I think public and private entities are doing a pretty good job trying to respond to how autonomous vehicles will change driver behavior, but we aren't yet reacting fast enough to how autonomous vehicles and other types of technology are going to completely change how we move people in groups. And that's really what public transportation is. And I think until our agencies can become more dynamic and reacting quite quickly and thinking ahead on how this happens, um, we're going to start seeing some problems as technology advances faster than our systems can. The fact is, within any regional city, you've got multiple government stakeholders, different various different agencies, you've got private, private operators, and then you've got a technology and services industry that exists to supply all of those multiple stakeholders. And the fact is, if we're going to realize the smart cities agenda, we're all going to have to cooperate and collaborate more. And I think that's the most overlooked issue. It's those money benefits that are often not communicated to a potential rider, like less roadway congestion, increases in the local economy, and higher employment rates. Public transportation provides community members a way to get to a job that they may not have been able to get to. Additionally, on a national level, Every $1 billion of federal investment in the nation's transportation infrastructure supports and creates 47,500 jobs. And I think we continue to talk about how we would love to have a vibrant transit system, um, but we need to talk about how we're going to pay to do that. And I think that's an issue both on the federal uh, and the state and local level, and I think there's still a lot of work that needs to be done there. I will speak to this question from our perspective here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, where public transportation uh, is used, we provide, give about 40 million rides a year, so it's used by a lot of people, but there still is that sense here. We're a very car-centric uh, community, and it's still a little bit of a, that's great, but it's not something we use. So we need to change the, uh, the tone around that discussion uh, as our, our cities get more dense, as roads become more crowded, instead of just building bigger and wider roads getting people to uh, use and consider using public transportation. As the baby boomer generation retires, we're going to see about one third of the workforce in transit leave and a lot of knowledge is going to leave with those individuals. And that goes all the way from our frontline employees to our management staff. And so as those individuals transition out of the system, we need to make sure that we're training up our new uh, and up and coming people.